Hello, future Lancers, and congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Windsor. I'm Maria Chapa, and I'm the Forensic Programs Administrator, and that's what we're talking about today. With me, I have Michelle Hammond, who's going to be talking about some tips for su student success a little bit later on. And she is a just a very recent graduate of the uh, Forensic BFS program, and we'll be talking to her later as i said so as you are learning about the courses the programs etc that you have to um, be taking um, we'd like to talk about what your fall term is going to look about look like um, we have required courses and so this is what we're going to walk you through today we're going to be walking you talking about the required courses in the fall semester um, winter semester it has a separate set of courses some of which are followed on from these particular courses um, there are also besides the required courses some open electives um, and these are courses that you have some choice in and as we go through this presentation I will be mentioning those specifically and this is our mock crime scene condo and here we have some students in first year that are actually learning how to investigate crime scenes and this is one of the first courses that you're going to be taking just a couple of notes on advising and the contact people that you can email if you have questions. So the first course that is required is FRSC 1101, um, Introductory Crime Scene Investigation. And while this particular slide is appropriate to the Bachelor of Forensic Science program, it is also required for the BA Forensics, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. This has a lecture and a lab component. Second required course for the fall semester in the Bachelor of Forensic Science program is Chem 1100, General Chemistry 1. And again, this has both a lecture and a lab uh, component. Third required course is Biology, BIOL 1101, Cell Biology, lecture plus lab. Um, as well. The fourth required course is a math course, and you have two options, Math 1720, Differential Calculus, or Math 1760, and we'll see that on the next slide, Functions and Differential Calculus. The difference between the two is that you take this course, the 1720, if you took the um, calculus and vectors class in in high school math 1760 is the class you take if you did not take the um the calculus and vectors class so one of those two not both you could take both if you really wanted but you wouldn't get credit for them the final course is one of two so normally you take four courses it is either SACR 2150 SACR means um, sociology, anthropology, and criminology. And this is our principles of physical anthropology class. Uh, you can take this one, or you can take comp computer science, uh, 1047 computer concepts for end users. Both of these are required, uh, but you only take one of them this semester. We actually recommend that you take the um, sociology the anthropology course, primarily because it's only offered once a year, whereas the computer course is offered every semester. So in summary, introductory crime scene investigation and techniques, general chemistry one, cell biology, all of these have lectures and labs. One of the math courses, depending on which um, math courses you took in high school, and either Comp 1047 or um, SACR 2150, the computer course or the anthropology course. Again, we do recommend the anthropology course. The combined BA in forensics, students in this program take some of the same courses, uh, but not all of them. For advising purposes, you can contact either forensic at uwindsor.ca or science at uwindsor.ca. So the required course 
is this is the same as the BFS students would be taking uh, introductory crime scene investigations and techniques um, lecture plus lab. Second required course and actually for the BA students we actually say take this in first year because there are follow up courses that you are also required to take the principles of Phys physical anthropology course. You are also required to take cell biology BIOL 1101 lecture plus lab. So the remainder, the other three courses that you take in this program are dependent on what your second major is. Is it criminology? Is it sociology? Is it psychology or something else? The three most common ones are criminology, sociology and psychology. So we'll talk a little bit about those. For the criminology and sociology, you will need to take SACR 1100, Foundations of Social Life. Um, again, criminology or sociology. If you're in psychology, you take Psych 1150, Introduction to Psychology as a Behavioral Science. Uh, and um, neither of those two courses have labs. The fifth course that the BA students take is an option generally. Although if there is a second major requirement in first year, you could take that. Either an open option, um, the second major requirement, or you could take a math course. Um, we, we do recommend that you take a math course simply because there are in upper years some courses that require calculus to understand some of the techniques that are being taught. So in summary, cell biology, introductory crime scene investigation and techniques, principles of physical anthropology, your second major requirement in first year, and then either an open option or a math 1760, math 1720. And that's it. Those are the courses that you will need to be taking in the fall. But before we keep, before we close down, we wanted to give you some tips for a successful semester. And I'm actually going to turn this over to Michelle at the moment because she is a student just recently graduated and so Michelle can talk to you a little bit about the role of academic advisors. Whenever you're stuck or you're in trouble or you're thinking what can I do, how do I move around my courses, what can I do to fix maybe um, you want to change routes and the type of forensics you want to do, you want to get into your specialties or want to think about your specialty, um, this is when you should seek help immediately. Do not wait. Do not leave it till last minute. Seek help immediately. This is because you do not want when you're in third year to all of a sudden think, oh my gosh, because I didn't take this first year course, I can't, it's, I cannot take this course because it was a prerequisite for one for a course that you needed now, and then you're going to be a little bit behind. So you, as soon as you're stuck and you need help with your, organizing your schedule, finding out what route you want to take, um, furthering on in your like, second, third, fourth year, seek help immediately, go to academic advising. And um, the contact information is here as seen, uh, the forensic at uwindsor.ca and science at uwindsor.ca. So, there you can go to and they can direct you to some academic advisors just to help you out. So the final thing that we wanted to say or talk about was some of the student support and services. We have a number of different ser uh, services on campus from health to counseling to accessibility. If you have accessibility issues and you can talk to them about getting being able to have extra time for assignments, extra time for tests. We also have the library, the Student Success and Leadership Center, Center Career Development, the USI Network, which is a, department, a faculty of science initiative to help with all, basically all of the above. And finally, the Turtle Island Aboriginal Education Center, which works with the faculty of science and other faculties on science to raise awareness of and assist with the incorporation of Indigenous knowledge into our programs and courses. And I think that's it. Um, I think, you know, basically we're here to help. Hopefully this give, gives you some guidelines of what you should be taking. 
uh, in the fall of your semester. If you have any questions, you can either talk to one of our recruitment staff. Uh, you can go to this website, planning your program, or you can send an email to science at uwindsor uh, or forensic at uwindsor. And we will get back to you on that.